Hello everybody and welcome to this little Sunhaven special. In this video I'd like to show you all of the 8 new carnival minigames in Withergate. In order to play those you have to pay in tickets which you can find randomly by for example tidying your farms or by completing quests in Withergate. Number 1. There is of course the Ferris wheel. For a steal of 15 tickets you can take a ride and enjoy a little scene provided by the dialogue box. From way up on the Ferris wheel you spy Zion. She is taking measurements of streets and buildings while scribbling away at a clipboard. An orange hard hat sits lopsided on her horns. Zyla stops, looks closely at an empty plot of land and begins laughing while scratching notes. After she finishes, she spins on a heel and walks away, still laughing to herself. You can see so much of the city from the ferris wheel. Number 2. You can also spend 15 tickets at the fortune teller Sombasu. There are different dialogue options you can choose after being given a fortune paper. For example, you can praise them by saying, wow, how incredible, to receive, should you wish to peel the veil back again, return, with tickets of course. Or you could call them out, if you will, by saying, this seems like rubbish, to receive this answer. Look kid, take the fortune or leave it, just get out of the way if you aren't buying another one. I got other paying customers here. But no matter what you reply, you will always receive one fortune cookie with a little read inside. Number 15 says, I see in the distant future the one called Emmett still in debt. And number one says, a great opportunity for love will present itself to you, but it will rely on you grabbing it. Wow, thank you. Selling for one ticket each. Number 3. For only 30 tickets, you can test your strength by talking to Pam at Test of Strength. Here you aim to attack a dummy with all you got within 20 seconds. As a result, all the damage dealt will be accumulated and you might be rewarded by receiving Withergate's new currency, the Red Carnival tickets, with which you can buy several exclusive items. Number 4. Paying 30 tickets yet again will give you a chance to win at Switcheroo. This game is quite simple a doll will be placed underneath one of three hats which will be moved around. Your aim is to choose the hat with the doll underneath it in order to win. If you win, you will be rewarded 20 red tickets. Number 5. For another 30 General Withergate tickets, Chester is willing to give you a chance at this even simpler game, Chester's Chance Wheel. You simply spin the wheel and hope to win stuff. Looks like you've earned yourself a prize. Fate is smiling down on you. I was quite lucky and won 100 red tickets. Number 6. If you feel like you're okay enough at memory, then why not test it out at memory match? Talk to Benny to take a chance. You will be given 35 seconds to find all the matches, but you're only allowed 5 mistakes. I made one mistake, but still won 23 red tickets. Number 7. Dugan's Dead Eye is a mini game for which you better skilled a long distance spell or you could just use an arrow. Here for the standard price of 30 tickets you simply have to hit as many moving objects as you can. I was doing okay and won 20 red tickets. Last but not least number 8. The Jellybean Jamboree. Talk to Chauncey, pay 30 tickets and you get the chance of counting the correct number of jelly beans landing inside of Chauncey's jar. But fear not. In the end you will get to choose an answer via yeah, multiple choice, so even if you lost track, you still got a fighting chance to win some red tickets. I received 18 after 18 jelly beans landed in the jar, so I'm guessing the number of tickets correlates to the number of jelly beans. Most mini games offer a competitive mode for 40 to 50 tickets, which I haven't tried because I didn't really feel all that competitive. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this little overview. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.